BDSM grill is bestest grill. Moonfish. <laughs> Fun fact. Moonfish shares his name with a species of fish that does not have any teeth. Ironic given his quirk. He is a psychotic escaped death row inmate, an A-rank villain criminal, and a new recruit in the League of Villains who served in the Vanguard Action Squad, presumably joined to find more immediate accessibility to feed his obsessive affection for flesh. Those deep-seated urges for flesh causes him to be in conflict with himself on following the task at hand and spontaneously going astray to indulge in his personal fetish for flesh, hence the repeated mumblings to himself to stay focused on the work he has to do. And he's already a man that usually has little to say <laughs> that doesn't involve the topic about flesh. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's too engrossed with his unhealthy obsession with fawning over severed flesh, meat, and appendages. His murderous impulses distract him from his work. Thus, he's compelled to deprive himself of his urges and enforce this habit of repeating key information to instill self-discipline. <laughs> despite the urges likely being the leading reason why he joined the league to begin with. Huh. The struggles of trying to balance passion with work. <laughs> Too relatable. <laughs> He's somewhat self-controlled in spite of his freakish appearance and demeanor. Surprisingly, he possesses the mental capacity to prioritize the mission over his single need and attempts to suppress his yearning to any nearby temptations, willing to delay his gratification for the League. So, it's not too much of a stretch to say that his full body leather gimp suit might actually serve a few functions for Moonfish, and it's not just for the sake to be freaky. The straight jacket restraints compels him to practice self-sufficiency with his quirk blade tooth, the ability to enlarge and manipulate his teeth into sharp, angular, branching teeth blades used to suspend himself, mobility, to attack from a distance, and to show him their flesh. The hooks that are keeping his lips peeled back from his teeth will prevent self-infliction, and the eye coverings are likely for heightening his other perceptions to maximize his sensual pleasure in the scent of fresh blood, the sound of ripping through skin, muscle tissue, bones, etc., and the euphoric sensation of cutting and slicing flesh. His outwardly behavior, speech, and movement indicates that he may be heavily mentally handicapped considering his actions have been dictated by his instinct for flesh, possibly having a large influence in his mastery of his bladed teeth and contentment with donning a modified straitjacket as his villain costume. But the poor guy failed his job on the first day of work, found the target, but only perceived him as potential meat. <laughs> And he didn't even get his flesh. Instead, he got smacked by a big edgy bird. Lost consciousness, lost all of his teeth, arrested, recaptured, and will most likely be executed. <sighs> Probably a Monday. So, uh, what's your thoughts on Moonfish? <laughs>